Hi, this is Deacon Jeff, and today we're going to talk about being the person God knows you can be. We are taught to excel, to be all we can be, to be the best versions of ourselves. Now these are good aspirations, but do you want to know a secret? This is not enough. You may say, wait a minute, I'm doing the best I can, or maybe I'm doing fine. I'm a good person. I am the best version of myself. And maybe from your perspective, you are doing well. But the best version of yourself is leaving God out of the picture. What if you viewed your life from a different angle, a view from above? Ask yourself this question, am I being the person God knows I can be? This is a tough question, and it's meant to be that way. Am I being the person God knows I can be? If I am honest with myself, I know there are many areas I need to work on. Or more accurately, there are areas I need to surrender to God and submit to His will. God knows us and loves us despite our shortcomings. He made us, and He knows us better than we know ourselves. As it says in Psalm 139, verses 13 through 14, You formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my very self you know. God knows us. He knows what we are capable of. That is a sobering thought, a humbling thought. Why? Because we cannot fool God. If I tell Him I am doing all I can, well, He knows better. And in a loving way, He will put another person into my life who needs help or encouragement. And in the end, I am better for it. Why does God want us to be the person He knows we can be? Because like a loving parent, He wants what is best for His children. He wants us to be happy, and not happy in a fleeting, earthly way. He wants us to be happy eternally, to spend a life of loving service of others on earth so we can be with Him forever in heaven, because each of us is wonderfully made. I don't know about you, but spending an eternity in God's loving embrace sounds pretty good to me. So how do we become the person God knows we can be? It begins with relationship. You have to have a relationship with God. You have to love Him. How much? More than anything. With all of your heart, mind, and soul. You also have to love others the same way. Wait a minute, that's hard. Yes, it is. And if we had to do it on our own, I would say it was close to impossible. But we are not alone. God is with us. The Holy Spirit was sent to strengthen us, guide us, and show us the way. The next step is humility. Admitting to yourself, you cannot do this alone. Ask God for help. Pray for courage, strength, and perseverance every day. Thank God for the blessings He gives you every day, knowing in your heart that each day is a gift from God. It is an opportunity to try your best to be the person He knows you can be. You also have to discern where God is calling you. Are you on the right path? And this ties right back to relationship. It is through prayer that you are able to discern God's call for you, to recognize His hand in the events of your life. He is the master potter, and we are the clay. All throughout your life, He is shaping you. Whether it is events in your life or people you encounter, these are used to shape the clay into a beautiful vessel full of God's grace. These graces come from the sacraments. Regularly receiving the Eucharist feeds and strengthens you spiritually. The sacrament of reconciliation provides forgiveness of sins and the strength to avoid sin. 
The anointing of the sick is an opportunity to experience the physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual healing God knows you need. Pope Benedict XVI said, The world offers you comfort, but you are not made for comfort. You were made for greatness. You are a child of God. You are loved by Him in a complete, unimaginable way. He knows you and knows who you can be. It's a challenge. Accept the challenge. Embrace the cross and be the person God knows you can be. May God's grace and peace be with you.